I want to show you some of the things you can do with deli paper or uh, Linco tissue paper that's been painted with acrylic. Um, as you know, you can sew with it on a machine or hand sew it. And there are some other techniques besides a sewing machine that we can borrow from the quilters. And one of them is the rotary cutter. And I'm going to use one that will make stripes. They also have some that uh, make beautiful circles. The rotary cutter can cut your paper very quickly and easily and I'm holding the paper down so that it won't move, otherwise your lines won't be straight. And lining up with my um, quilter, the lines on here, to get it good and straight. And you wanna do the first one so that it has a little area here so that you're straightening all of them so that the next, if you decide to make smaller stripes, it'll all be set up. And let's see if I can make this do just, yep, perfect. It's a good idea to pay attention, otherwise you'll cut it twice. So 10, 10 and a half, 9, 10 and a half, 9, 2, 2 and a half, that one, that one slipped. All right, so then you very gently move it over. I'm going to do it only part way so that I have two different widths of paper. And I might could do it again and get even thinner, but let's see what we have. Some of these I didn't have thick enough. The top, I didn't press hard enough on the bottom, so I've got thick, thick stripes. And, and you get perfect stripes. And another way to make stripes with your paper. And I probably should have put my arm into it a little more. I especially wanted to get this purple and yellow. Let's see when it slips you get unperfect lines. You get stripes with pattern on them. Here is one that I have worked on and that I thought might need a little more. And you can um, just put it down. Rather than glazing it, I can cover the lines Now if I glued this down on, this is the panel, but if I glued it down on paper, then I could sew it if I wanted to. But the more you do to a paper, the more interesting it gets, I think. Uh, the stripes that are on this piece were done this way. Now if I had turned this around and cut the other way, I'd get little squares. And if I turned it on a slant, I would get diamond shapes. It allows you to cut very quickly lots of uh, perfect shapes. This is one I had a little more time to work on, doing very subtle stripes that have been sliced. And uh, I did some of them over the printed stripes that I did with uh, Fun Foam and then cut some up and put them on top, and this one uh, using the paper we printed yesterday. Remember, with, when you're using paper, that anything you do to, to fabric, you can do to paper and vice versa. So keep in mind that the rotary cutter and the sewing machine are techniques you can use with paper, uh, as long as you keep the paper thin.